he beat him up. And he said to him, I did go and beat him up. Yeah, I'm guilty, but I'm not guilty of murder. It does not matter whose hand held the gun. Everyone who joined in committing the crime is equally guilty. If one person commits a crime and others knowingly join in, joint enterprise allows them to be held responsible. For years, these families have been campaigning against law, which sees people convicted of assault or murder, Justice! even if they didn't strike the fatal blow. Three men have been jailed for life for the murder of a man in a case of mistaken identity. Calvin Jarrell Collins, Dean Winston and Kyle Sober Fraud were found guilty of fatally stabbing 20-year-old Mohammed Abdullahi Mr. Abdullahi was killed in revenge for a shooting in North London, but police say there's no evidence linking him to the shooting. He was a lovely kid, quite grown up because his sister was two years older than him. She's got autism, so he always helped me with her. He's never been in prison for anything before. He's had community service and been on tap you know, when the riots were going on. He was hanging around. Around our area, you know, any teenager had problems. And then we had a couple of incidents where someone had tried to get through our back door. Dean said to me, Mum, we need to move. Someone's going to run up in our house. We need to move. It was about 10 o'clock. My daughter was trying to ring me. She rang me and said, stones have been thrown at the window, Mum. And I was like, what do you mean stones? So I rang Dean, so he said, all right, I'm going to check. It wasn't stones, there was big holes in the window. So then he phoned me back and said, Mum, don't go home. So I was shot at the house. These three defendants travelled in a taxi together looking for an individual who they thought was connected with the shooting. and essentially send out a warning message either to them or people who knew had committed the offence. They obviously were angry. While they were driving to the shops, they noticed this boy. Dean didn't think he had anything to do with the shooting, but he knew that he knew where we lived. So he got out of the car to question him. He didn't think he had anything to do with shooting. That's why he only beat him up. And he said to him, like, tell them I'm coming from them. In the struggle, it just all went wrong. A man has been fatally stabbed outside a takeaway in North London. 20-year-old Mohammed Abdullahi was killed on York Way in revenge for an attack he didn't commit. Three arrests have been made in connection to the killing. The pathologist arrived at the conclusion that there were three stab wounds, but only one of those stab wounds was fatal, and that was the obvious stab wound to the chest. Mr. Sober Proud could be seen with a knife in his hand. One doesn't see him inflict the fatal stab wounds. What the prosecution say is that if there was another knife, any one of the three men could have been responsible. Dean wasn't seen with the weapon. There was no weapons found. We knew he was going to get something. He's not innocent, but he's not guilty of murder. But then all of a sudden, this joint enterprise came into it. They're talking about joint enterprise. Joint enterprise as a doctrine just means that if you're there, although we can't specifically say what it is you, you did or may not have done, the law allows us to prosecute you. He said, I'm not going to plead guilty for something I didn't do. I'm not doing it. I didn't do it. I did go and beat him up. So, yeah, I'm guilty, but I'm not guilty of murder. It's not in dispute that he and the others were out looking for someone. The prosecution's case was one that all three of these defendants acted together. And the prosecution say, we can't say who inflicted those stab wounds, but there were three people there and possibly two knives. That's joint enterprise for you. The trial was horrific. Our justice system says we're innocent to proven guilty. We're not. You go into these courts and you're guilty and you've got to fight with tooth and nail to prove you're innocent.
Joint enterprise is not a lazy law at all. In fact, for joint enterprise, we need to look very carefully at what evidence we have in respect of each individual. We need to prove that each of those individuals knowingly participated in a crime, that they encouraged or assisted in the commission of that crime. When Kyle pleads guilty, that sort of gave me hope because obviously I knew he was the one who had the knife. He's pleaded guilty. There's no way Dean's going to get done for murder. And so that was a, a major issue for the prosecution because one of the defendants, Sober Proud, accepted that he had caused the stab wounds on his own. In a case like this, where it's not clear who inflicted the fatal stab wound, even though he's admitted it, the prosecution are entitled to leave the matter to the jury rather than take their own decision to stop the case. Someone's life, surely you need at least 12 people, the jury, to, to make that decision. But it's not good enough. The judge in his sentencing remarks took the view that there was a shared intention to kill by all three defendants, and he made no finding as to who it was that was responsible for the fatal stab wound. And so on that basis, he was entitled to sentence Dean and the co-defendant to the same sentence, but obviously give a slight reduction in sentence to the first defendant who had pleaded guilty albeit that he had tried to take responsibility for causing the stab wounds. None of us who are fighting for our children are saying that our children are innocent, but they're innocent of murder. I feel so much for that boy's mum. Obviously, I could not imagine how she feels. But in another way, I can, because I feel like I've lost my son. My son stays in prison for the rest of his life. He's lost too.